Okay, this was a surprise. I did a video back in May on this McElroy Manufacturing Company uh, automatic CW keyer. I had just taken photos of the device because I really had no idea that I would actually own it. And for our 38th anniversary, my wife bought this back in May and has hidden it away and gave it to me today, July 19. And uh, I'm just thrilled that I actually own a piece of antique ham radio history. So I'm going to go through this thing. The only thing that I've done so far is screwed the bulb in, the lamp, they call it the exciter lamp, into the uh, socket. You can see it's a screw-in bulb. Probably can't see it from here, but it's just a, got a lamp, uh, a candelabra base bulb. And uh, it's the exciter lamp, and then the receptor is this little tiny hole right here. And that receptor is what reads the dashes and dots of this tape. So we'll go through it one step at a time as we uh, kind of get this unit up and running. This is a, uh, a wind-up and then uh, it mechanically pulls the spool. The spool fits on here. And there's a wind up that goes on to this shaft. There it is. The original handle. And it just goes right there. And uh, you wind it up probably a spring in there we'll have to check that out and then it just pulls the tape through this gate right here and back onto the spool so we'll uh, just star washer there to figure out what that goes to and then there are all these tubes Probably preamp and amplifier tubes. There's no speaker on the device, so it uses a a uh, phone jack. I do not know what these two terminals are. I think they are code practice oscillator terminals, so you can put a keyer on here and practice code. It'll transmit the tone out through the headphones or out through a speaker. So we'll get it all running. Uh, this knob has some instructions here as to what it does. Uh, this knob here adjusts the position of the uh, receptor, or as they call it, um, the uh, gate, the light gate. It adjusts the light gate. Yeah, there it is, the light gate, so that you get the right adjustment. Uh, this is a voltage adjuster, and according to the instructions here, and I'll post some pictures of these still frame, but basically it runs from 90 to 130 volts, depending on this setting. So I have no idea whether these tubes are any good. We'll check the tubes out. And uh, we'll just kind of give you a step-by-step -step of the entire set. <laughs> 